An annual Rite of Spring, scenes from the Retired Officers Wives Club Spring Fashion Show. Models included 104-year-old Marion Jordan showing off spring fashions courtesy of the exchange. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Flying Space A. We'll take a look at the motorcycle safety training schedule and CYS gets a grant from Major League Baseball. These stories and more, but first, if you're catching the show before Saturday, April 13th, a final reminder that Arts in the Armed Forces is performing Sam Shepard's True West at 7 p.m. at the Post Theater. Arts in the Armed Forces was founded by Marine Corps veteran Adam Driver, better known as Star Wars' Kylo Ren. Four actors, Noah Bean, Reed Burney, Annie Golden, and and Jeremy Bob will perform a reading of the play and then engage in a Q&A session. The doors open for concessions at 6 p.m. The show is recommended for those 18 years old and above. We'll have more on the next edition of Mead Week. Meanwhile, military veterans and retirees are most likely familiar with catching a hop or flying space available or space A on military aircraft. Fortunately for the Fort Meade community, Baltimore Washington International Airport is minutes away. BWI is one of two civilian airports that host an Air Mobility Command or AMC terminal. So how do you get a flight schedule? One way is to go to the AMC desk at the airport with your military ID, or you can go to the monthly space aid briefing offered by the Fleet and Family Support Center. Started conducting the briefs last year. Um, one of our other centers in Annapolis was doing this. So we was like, well, why not bring it to our center here in Fort Meade? And so we just kind of connected with them via the Annapolis Fleet and Family. And we've been doing this since last year. So it's been going on for about a year now. One of the most frequently asked questions at these briefings is where can I fly? Currently from BWI, you can fly to Italy, Germany, the Azores, and McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey. But you're not limited by those destinations. There are other gateways close by. But again, you have other AMC and non-AMC terminals that fly. Norfolk, you know, goes to Naples, gotcha. Italy, all That's different parts. Okay. Andrews, if you want to go west, California, Hawaii, you're going to go through Andrews to go to sure. Travis, go that way. SeaTac will take you to Korea, Japan. Sure. For more information on the Space A briefings, you can contact the Fleet and Family Support Center. They're located at 2212 Chisholm Avenue. In other news, Child Youth and School Services Sports Programs got a big boost this week, receiving a grant from Major League Baseball via the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. We spoke with CYS Chief Fran Jamison and Assistant Youth Sports Director Michael Lanny. Fort Meade Child and Youth Services is a longtime partner of the Boys and Girls Club of America, and as such, we often get uh, opportunities through BGCA uh, to receive grants, and one of those grants that we recently received came from Major League Baseball, and it's for a play ball initiative which will allow young people to learn the game of baseball. And it's for $3,000, and it's because of the hard work of staff like uh, Michael and, and Jim Day. So. We're going to use the money to revamp our equipment, um, from bats to actual bases to helmets, maybe gloves for the kids as well, and then some field maintenance stuff, such as um, like edgers for the baselines and um, chalk and turfus. One requirement of the grant is to hold a baseball clinic, which this year will be held in conjunction with the annual visit from the hometown Orioles. We're going to have a baseball clinic hosted by the Baltimore Orioles on 4 May. It'll be over at the U Sports Complex for about 100 of our kids uh, that are part of the U Sports program, so that'll tie into the grant as well. Once again, that's May 4th for the Orioles Clinic. Elsewhere, spring means motorcycle safety courses. Here's a look at the schedule and more from Fort Meade Public Affairs' Maya Jordan. The Installation Safety Office offers the Basic Riders Course, Experience Riders Course, and the Military Sport Bike Riders Course. You must complete one of these courses to operate a motorcycle on a military installation. The basic course is for beginners or those that want to brush up on their skills. The experienced riders course is required within one year of completing the basic course. The military sport bike riders course is for those that have completed either the basic or experienced course. It's mandatory for licensed military sport bike riders. These are the scheduled dates, but the installation safety office can add courses to the schedule to meet the demand. For more information, contact the safety office at 301-677-2396. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.